Doc Beach here from Applied Ballistics, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to update the firmware on your Kestrel Elite using a mobile device. This works on Android or on iOS. It's a fairly straightforward process that doesn't require uh, a lot of technical skill or even a lot of menu knowledge on the user's end. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you how easy this is. The first thing I want to do is turn on my Kestrel. And we can see here we're on firmware 1.07, which is an outdated firmware. Now, to the user, it doesn't really matter because it's going to automatically prompt you that there's a firmware update. And you'll see that this is already paired with the Kestrel Link Ballistics on this iOS device. I start it up and it's going to connect and then it lets you know that there's a firmware update. You didn't have to do anything on your part. When we hit continue, you see that it's going to start the process of updating the firmware and that's all that you have to do. Now this can take 20 minutes or so. So if anything were to happen during this update process, um, say the phone disconnects or dies or, or it doesn't complete, that's okay. Uh, I just canceled out the application and you'll see that the Kestrel will also fail out and it doesn't do any harm to the Kestrel itself. Everything still works and functions just fine. Now let me show you how to do this on Android. Android is just as easy to do. So we'll go ahead and we'll start the Kestrel Link Ballistics on Android. And we'll start the Kestrel itself. It's still on firmware 1.07. We can go to device selection. We can see the Kestrels here. Now you'll see that uh, we've selected the device. Now we just simply have to wait for it to connect and then it's going to prompt us that there's a firmware upgrade. Uh, it works roughly the same way. We'll go ahead and hit the upgrade button. Now it asks that you give it 10 seconds to download and read the firmware. So we'll give it, we give it a couple seconds here. We'll go ahead and hit upgrade firmware. You see it says it's reading the new firmware. Then you'll have one more prompt on its own. It'll say that uh, it's begun the process. There it is. It says it's uploading and you'll see the Kestrel screen has changed to a, a download progress. And that's how easy it is to update the firmware on a Kestrel Elite using a mobile device.